Hi everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to day four of the holiday sales edit. So if you're new here or just tuning in, welcome. I'm uploading a new video every single day for the next seven days and the theme is of course holiday sales. I'm also taking part in two giveaways. So the first giveaway is now open. I'm giving away a Gucci Marmont handbag. I've teamed up with some incredible bloggers and that is currently going on over on my Instagram. So you'll need to be following me over there for your chance to win. The handbag is absolutely beautiful and I would love it for one of you guys to have your chance to win as well. You'll need to look for this photo and follow the instructions on the photo for your chance to win. So good luck to everyone for that giveaway. I'll also be doing a second giveaway starting December 1st and that one will be for my YouTube subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit the red subscribe button below and that way you'll be entered for your chance to win that giveaway. And of course, I just love to have you guys here with me. So if you've made missed out on day one, two, and three. We've had a Topshop haul, an H&M haul, and yesterday I shared with you a load of different Cyber Week sales. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys 10 ways that you can style a wool coat for the winter season. A wool coat really is the focal point of your outfit, especially when it is absolutely bitterly cold outside. That's definitely what people are gonna be noticing about you. So I'm gonna share with you guys 10 different ways that you can style up your wool coat and look really chic, but also stay really warm for the winter season. So for this first look, I've gone really neutral. I'm wearing a black wool coat. This is really a staple to have in your wardrobe. Mine is from the brand Dynamite and I picked it up last season on sale. This is the time of year when you wanna be looking for your wool coats. Underneath, I'm wearing a white fluffy sweater. This one is from Target. I shared it with you guys in my video yesterday. You can kind of tuck it in or wear it over top because it is more of a two neck style. I'm wearing my faux leather leggings. These ones are from the brand Stradivarius. They're very high waisted. I have an entire video on how to style faux leather leggings. If you guys are interested in that. On the bottom, I'm wearing my black faux suede over the knee boots. These ones are from Steve Madden. These ones are currently on sale right now at Nordstrom. They're under $100 and they actually stay up on your knee, which I love. And my scarf, so it's a camel colored scarf. It really kind of ties the whole look together and adds just a little bit of a pop of color, but it's still sticking with a really neutral theme. And because the jacket is more of a lower neckline and same with the sweater, and I'm not wearing a mock neck or a turtleneck, you wanna make sure you have something that's gonna keep your neck nice and cozy and warm. When you get to where you're going, obviously you can take your scarf off and shed your layers, but it also looks really nice just draped over top. So for this next look, I wanted to give you guys an option to have your legs out with the black wool coat. So I'm wearing the same black wool coat from Dynamite and on top I'm wearing a ribbed effect mock neck style top. This one's from Hollister and I love the frill detail on the neck and on the sleeve. It's just a nice kind of added design detail. And because this one goes a lot higher, you don't necessarily have to have a scarf on and it's always nice to add a nice piece of jewelry. This one I actually picked up on a layover one year and it just has really cute snowflakes on it. And underneath, this is actually kind of a really important part of the outfit. I'm wearing a really cute red and white check skirt. This one is from Top shop. it has a nice zip detail. So if I take my coat off, my outfit's still really cute underneath. And for an added layer of warmth, I've actually thrown on a pair of biker shorts, which you can't see. They are perfectly concealed, but they're gonna keep my body nice and warm because I do have this portion of my leg exposed. On the bottom, I'm wearing my faux suede over the knee boots from Steve Madden. I love that these ones actually stay up and they're just really form-fitted on your leg. And underneath the boots, I'm actually wearing a pair of black over the knee socks. So that's just gonna keep my leg really nice and warm. But really the focal point is the wool coat, but I haven't forgotten about my outfit underneath. This next outfit is a really versatile look for winter, even fall or spring. So the focal point here is the camel coat. This one is from H&M. I featured it on day two of the holiday sales edit. It's in my H&M haul video. This jacket actually comes belted, but I've swapped out the belt for my own belt. This one I picked up from ASOS. I believe it sold out, so Forever 21 has an exact identical dupe. So I'll link that one in the description box down below for you guys. Underneath, I'm wearing a off-white cable knit sweater. It fits really nicely underneath this jacket. This one's from Forever 21 as well. On the bottom, I have a pair of a darker camel coated pair of jeans. I love coated jeans in the winter season. They just add a little bit of texture and a little bit of a nice change up from wearing just regular denim. On the bottom, I'm wearing a camel pair of over-the-knee faux suede boots. These ones are 
from Zara. I've had them for a few seasons now, so I'll link some similar options down below for you guys. I like the contrast heel. It works really well with the belt from ASOS. And I wanted to opt for something a little bit different on top here, just to kind of break up all the camel, but it is a really nice kind of wintry, but transitional look into the spring months as well. This next look I think is so chic, but be quite comfy and kind of casual at the same time. So I could have paired it with a black mock neck style or turtleneck style top, but I opted for white because I wanted to kind of brighten the look up a little bit. So this is a fine knit mock neck style top from ASOS. I'm wearing a jumpsuit, so it has wide straps and it's actually a gorgeous checked print. It's kind of a black and gray check. It ties at the waist and it is more of a coulette style in this beautiful corduroy fabric. It is honestly such a lightweight fabric, but it's still quite heavy and warm at the same time if that makes sense. Corduroy can be quite a heavy fabric but this type of corduroy is a lot lighter and really kind of movable and just really cozy and comfortable but still keeps you nice and warm. On the bottom I have my black leather ankle boots. These ones are from Topshop. I love these boots. They're just so versatile and they go with everything and I just thought it was nice because you can show a little bit of ankle but you're still going to be nice and warm. I pulled a look together with my Rebecca Minkoff Jumbo Love Crossbody. Rebecca Minkoff has a ton of handbags on sale right now. This one very much gives me kind of Chanel vibes. I get so many compliments every time I wear this bag and it's just such a chic way to kind of bring the look together. And on top I have the black wool coat from Dynamite which just makes the outfit look really really chic and classy. Alright, so this looks definitely the most casual one I'm going to be sharing with you guys and I'll be honest, it's not a hundred percent my vibe, but it's definitely an option. So underneath I am wearing my sweatshirt from H&M. It's a kind of crew neck style sweater. It says winter magic on it with this beautiful kind of mountain and sequin print. I just think it's really cute. It comes in a variety of different kind of colors and patterns. It's a little bit more on the crop side so it's not too long but it's just really good for lounging around and just hanging out or good for like long days on the ski hill. On the bottom I am wearing my leggings. These ones are from Walmart. They are so form-fitted. They are high-waisted. They have a lot of nice design details and they look as good as Lululemon but a fraction of the price. On the bottom I'm wearing my Nike run these ones have literally been around the world with me. I love these. They're so broken in but they're just so comfortable and I wear them for working out all the time. And on top I've thrown over my black wool coat. As you can see a black wool coat literally goes with everything. This is definitely kind of more of a chic, sporty, casual look. And on the top I'm wearing my off-duty hat. This one's actually my own design. So if I can find something similar I will try and link it down below for you guys. This next outfit's really all about the black leather skirt or faux black leather skirt in my case. So this one is mine. This one's from Zara. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, you'll have seen this skirt in a lot of different videos. It's a wrap style skirt from Zara. I paired it with this really cute white fluffy top. It's an off the shoulder bardo style white fluffy top with long sleeves. It's just so cute and cozy and very much a wintry vibe about it. On the bottom I have my black faux suede over the knee boots from Steve Madden. As you can see, I get so much wear out of them. They just go with absolutely pretty much everything in my wardrobe. And as for my jacket, so I've opted for my grey wool coat. You guys can honestly choose whatever kind of wool coat you want. It can be patterned, it can be a neutral colour, it can be a vibrant colour. Red would be really beautiful this time of year. I wanted to kind of break it up a little bit opposed to just wearing my black wool coat over top. A camel coat would look beautiful as well, so a lot of different options. I just like the way this one looks. It's really polished, put together and just looks really chic and of course I love the added touch of the faux fur on it. I paired it with my Jumbo Love crossbody from Rebecca Minkoff. It just helps to tie all of the black together. This next look is really all about the beautiful midi style dress that I have on. So this one is from Zara. It is a midi length on me. It's in the most beautiful color combination. It has kind of a ruching and ruffle detail at the top here. A little bit of a plunging neckline with a tie at the top, but I love the colors. It's a red, green, blue, beige, and it has a gorgeous gold thread running through it. This is perfect for any festive holiday parties that you have coming up, especially if you're going to be entertaining. I think it's just absolutely stunning, and it's just so ladylike and elegant. On top, I paired it with my black wool coat. Now, even though there's navy blue in the dress, don't feel worried about pairing navy and black. It looks really nice together. On the bottom, I'm wearing my black 
knee-high boots. They are a gathered boot and they are from the brand Soul Society. I absolutely love these boots. I wear them so much this time of year. Now what you could do for an added layer of warmth is you could wear a legging underneath and throw the dress over top. If you don't plan on taking your shoes off, no one's going to see that. And if you do plan on taking your shoes off, then I'd recommend maybe a biker short or a capri style legging. That way it'll be completely concealed. You can take your shoes off, but you're still going to feel extra warm. And this is just a really kind of chic and cozy way to dress up your gorgeous festive midi style dress. This next look is actually probably one of my absolute favorites. So underneath I'm wearing a kind of off-white natural white cable knit sweater. It's quite a bulky sweater but it's really warm and cozy, not itchy at all. This one's from H&M and it was actually marked down at $15. I've thrown it over top of this beautiful midi skirt. I love the color of it. It's kind of a kind of beigey taupe light camel color and it's actually in a sweater material so it's very elasticated but it's essentially wearing a sweater for your legs. On the bottom I paired it with the gathered boots from Soul Society. I love the black with this look. It just adds a little bit of an element of interest and works really well with the neutral theme and because I've opted for kind of more of a knee high you can't see it underneath and my legs are going to stay nice and warm. On top I paired it with the camel wool coat. This one's from H&M. I'm just so impressed with this jacket. It's just such beautiful quality and then I have the belt of the jacket so you can belt it and it's going to look really chic and put together and I finish it off with my Jumbo Love crossbody from Rebecca Minkoff. It just ties in with the black gathered boots and that is the completed look. So for this look, I wanted to give you guys a really casual option. So up top, I'm wearing a ribbed effect. I don't know if you guys can see the detailing on it. Turtleneck style top. This one I think is last year from H&M. Might even be two seasons ago. And I'm sure all of you guys have a black turtleneck or mock neck style top in your wardrobe. On the bottom, I paired it with my white denim jeans. These ones are from Nordstrom and you don't have to pair it with white denim jeans you can easily swap it out for your favorite pair of denim I just love white jeans and winter whites in the winter months these ones what I like so much about them is they're not overly see-through I shopped around for a long time before I spotted these ones and they are quite a high waist so they really help to kind of elongate your body I paired them with my white patent boots from Steve Madden I realized the white boot trends not for absolutely everyone but I love these boots and I love the contrast heel on them. Just helps tie the whole look together. Now up top, I opted for my gray wool coat. This one is seriously so warm. And I removed the faux fur so you guys could see what the neckline looks like without the faux fur on it. It's just a really kind of classic sheet coat. You can really swap this one out for any wool coat, whether it's pattern, print, different colors, whatever it is. You obviously don't need to have three in your collection. If you're gonna pick up just one, I probably recommend going the way of black, but I love the gray for the winter. It'll work really well into spring as well. And then I finished it off with my Jumbo Love crossbody, which as you guys can see, goes with just about everything. So for this final look, I've most certainly saved the best for last because this one has to be my absolute favorite. So underneath, I'm wearing this absolutely stunning dress. This one is from ASOS. It's the brand Boohoo. It's in this beautiful silver kind of metallic. It's called a hammered material, and it has a really kind of nice silky satiny feel to it, but it was really affordable because it is from the brand Boohoo. It ties at the side, so it's a wrap style dress. I like that it's not too short, but it does have quite a plunging neckline, which kind of offsets the longer length of the dress and it does have adjustable straps so you don't have to worry about it falling down i'm quite kind of smaller through my chest area so it's not really something i overly worry about on the bottom i paired it with these beautiful heels they have a rhinestone detailing around the ankle these ones i'll be honest i've had for a few years now they're from this brand called evernew I actually bought them when I was living in New Zealand to wear to an event, but I've actually been wearing them a lot for weddings, but I think they work really well with this look. Please don't mind my nail polish. I am out of nail polish remover and did not have time to do my nails, so forgive my toenails. On top, I paired it with this absolutely stunning gray wool coat. This one is also from the brand Evernew, and this one I picked up on Black Friday as part of a sale. It has a beautiful gray faux fur kind of stole that is fastened on top, but it's a removable piece, so you don't have to have it if you don't want, or you could actually wear the faux fur stole as a scarf or pair it with another item in your wardrobe. And I finished off the look with my small up crossbody in this beautiful kind of muted metallic color with the gun metal hardware. This one's from Rebecca Minkoff that I got on sale in the summer. They have a champagne one out this season, which I'll link down below for you guys. And I just think that this is my absolute favorite 
favorite outfit. I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one on New Year's Eve. This is perfect for any festive Christmas parties or any events that you have coming up over the holiday season. So those are 10 different ways that you can style up your wool coat for the winter season. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you guys got some outfit inspiration and some ideas on how not only you can stay nice and cozy and warm, but also look really chic and stylish while doing it. If you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That means so much to me. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope I've inspired you to hit the red subscribe button below. It means so much to me. And of course, I would love to have you guys here with me. Don't forget about the Gucci Marmont giveaway that's going over on my Instagram. I would love it for you guys to have the chance to win as well. So good luck to all of you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hope you're not too sick of all the amazing sales that are going on right now. And I'll see you all again back here in my next video. Bye.